Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, green triangle uh, DAC fully confined in a uh, right triangle uh, ABC. As you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this angle uh, BAD is uh, alpha and likewise this angle uh, DAC is uh, angle alpha as well. In other words, uh, both of these angles are congruent. And moreover, this side length AB is 3 units, whereas this segment AD is the square root of 10. And now our task is to calculate the area of this green shaded triangle DAC. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our action plan. And let's make an observation. We can see the area of this uh, green shaded uh, triangle uh, ADC is going to be equal to the area of this uh, whole uh, big triangle uh, ABC minus the area of this uh, white triangle uh, ABD. As you can see in this uh, given uh, equation. So therefore now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC and the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABD as well in order to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded triangle. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times uh, base times uh, height. And in our case uh, our height is uh, 3. However our base uh, this uh, BD and this uh, base uh, BC are missing. So therefore we are going to calculate uh, not only this uh, BD length uh, but also this uh, BC length uh, as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABD and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle to calculate uh, this uh, base uh, BD. And here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this longest uh, leg as our side c. I'm going to call this side lowercase a and this uh, lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean uh, formula. a square plus b in our case is uh, 3 square equal to c is square root of 10 whole uh, square. Let's go ahead and subtract 9 from both sides. This is gone. a square turns out to be 1. Let me go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking square root uh, on both uh, sides. So therefore our a value turns out to be positive 1. So therefore our this uh, bd length turns out to be 1 unit. And now let's recall the angle bisector theorem on this uh, triangle uh, ABC. And here we can see this uh, BD is an angle bisector. In other words, uh, this angle is alpha and this angle is alpha as well. And if we label uh, this side uh, A, this side lowercase b, this uh, x uh, and this uh, y, then we could write this one as a ratio of A and B equals to the ratio of uh, x uh, and y. Now let's assume that our this uh, side length uh, is lowercase a, this side length is lowercase b, this segment bd is uh, x and this uh, cd is uh, y. And we can see that uh, this ad is our angle bisector because uh, angle alpha and this angle is alpha as well. And here we can see our uh, a value is uh, 3 and uh, length of B is uh, simply AC. X value is 1 as you can see over here and our Y is simply length of CD. As you can see in this uh, next step. Now let's go ahead and cross uh, multiply. So therefore we can write uh, 3 times uh, CD equals to 1 times AC is going to give us uh, AC. And now let's go ahead and divide both sides by CD. So therefore we can see this and this cancels out. So we can write AC over CD could be written as 3 divided by 1. And here we can see the ratio of AC and CD equals to the ratio of 3 and 1. 
So therefore, we could write uh, a c equals to three times some constant, okay? And likewise, uh, c d could be written as uh, one times uh, some constant k as well. And now our task is to find the value of this constant k. Okay? So therefore, uh, this uh, side uh, a c turns out to be three times k, and this uh, side uh, c d is uh, 1 times uh, k. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, big uh, right triangle uh, ABC. And we can see that this segment uh, BD is uh, 1 and this segment uh, CD is uh, 1 times k. So therefore this whole uh, side length uh, BC is going to be 1 uh, plus this uh, k. And now we are going to apply the Pythagorean uh, theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again. A square plus B square equal to C square. And here our longest leg uh, is uh, 3K. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. We got uh, 1 plus uh, K whole uh, square plus uh, 3 square equal to 3K whole uh, square. And now let's recall this famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2ab plus b square. We are going to apply it on this uh, binomial on the left hand side. So therefore this could be written as 1 plus uh, 2k plus uh, k square plus uh, 9 equal to 9k square. Let's go ahead and move uh, all uh, these terms uh, to the right hand side. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have moved everything on the other side. And now we can see that all these terms are uh, divisible by 2 across uh, the board. So therefore, we are going to get uh, 4k square minus uh, k minus 5 uh, equal to 0. And now we can see that we got this uh, quadratic uh, equation. And we are going to solve this one uh, for k by using uh, the grouping and factoring. You may use the quadratic formula if you wish so. And now let's make an observation. If we multiply these two n numbers, 4 times 5 is 20. And if we find the difference of 4 and 5, that is going to give us 1. So therefore, we are going to tweak this middle term. Negative k could be written as negative 5k plus uh, 4k. Uh, As you can see in this uh, next step, and now we can see k is in common between first two terms, uh, and here uh, simply 1 is common. So therefore, I'm going to factor out k outside. So we got uh, 4k minus uh, 5 plus 1. I'm going to factor it out. So we got uh, 4k minus 5 uh, equal to 0. And now we can see 4k minus 5 and 4k minus 5, they are in common. So therefore I can write 4k minus 5 times k plus 1 equal to 0. Let me go ahead and separate these two factors. I can write 4k minus 5 equal to 0. And the other factor is k plus 1 equal to 0. For this uh, first uh, equation, our k value is going to be 5 uh, divided by 4. For the second equation, our k value is going to be negative 1. And now we can see k equals to negative 1 value is not uh, feasible since k represents the side length. So therefore, we are going to reject this uh, negative value and we are going to accept uh, k equals to 5 uh, divided by 4. So thus we conclude that our this uh, CD length uh, is going to be 5 uh, divided by 4 since uh, this is uh, 1K and our K value is 5 divided by 4. And now let's make an observation. We know that our BD length is 1, CD length is uh, 5 uh, divided by 4. So therefore this whole uh, side length uh, BC is going to be 1 plus 5 uh, divided by 4. And now if we add 1 plus uh, 5 divided by 4, this turns out to be 9 uh, divided by 4. So therefore this whole uh, BC length turns out to be 
nine uh, divided by four. And now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, white triangle uh, ABD. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula once again. Area equals to a half times uh, base times height. And in our case, our base is one and our height is uh, three. So therefore, the area of this triangle ABD is going to be a half uh, times base is one, uh, height is uh, three. And if we simplify this thing, that is going to give us uh, 3 divided by 2 and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, bigger triangle uh, ABC as well and we are going to use the very same uh, triangle formula and here our base is uh, 9 divided by 4 and our height uh, is uh, 3 so therefore the area of this triangle ABC is going to be half times uh, 9 divided by 4 times uh, 3 Let's go ahead and simplify the right hand side. That is going to give us uh, 27 uh, divided by 8. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, green shaded uh, triangle uh, ADC. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. I can write down uh, 27 divided by 8 minus uh, 3 divided by 2. And if we subtract uh, these uh, fractions and uh, we are going to get uh, 15 uh, divided by 8 as you can see so therefore this green uh, triangle area turns out to be 15 uh, divided by 8 so thus the area of this uh, green shaded triangle turns out to be 15 divided by 8 uh, square units and in terms of decimal this is equal to 1.875 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye